Hello, everyone. I'm Mario Florio from NBC10. Welcome to Mmm, a food podcast, a place you can come to hear all about the great things happening on the local food scene. The wonderful restaurants we have, the local companies making delicious food products, the fun community events highlighting local cuisine. Joining me now are Aloy Hernandez and Teresa Hughes from Stone Ridge Grill and Bar in Plainville to tell us about their delicious restaurant and the food truck they have. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. Uh, so let's start about uh, Stone Ridge. Tell us about your place, how long you've been around, and what you serve. Well, we opened in 2019. We um, serve the gamut. We really do. We have pizzas. We do great seafood, hand-cut steaks. Um, we do specials every weekend. And our, our scratch kitchen is phenomenal. We um, cater to gluten-free, all allergies. And, I mean, we are really a family-friendly place. For everybody to go. Yeah, so you've really only been, been around about just about five years now. Uh, come yeah, this coming this coming November, it'll be five years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And you were saying you started kind of like right before the pandemic. Yeah. yeah. And then our takeout just went skyrocketed through the roof. The people really started to get to know us. And then when we reopened, it was full steam going forward. That was great. So you were able to keep a lot of the customers that were coming for the takeout and then uh, keep them yeah. as patrons. Absolutely. Yeah. Built out from from there. Yep. Yeah. But like we said, uh, handcuffed handcuffed steaks, tons of specials, some of the best seafood we have there. Yeah. Oh, don't tell, forget about our martini flights. We have a uh, great bar. Oh yeah, yeah. tell us about bar. that. Yeah. We're we're pretty much a full martini bar. We got I don't know how many flavors, but about a full 40 flavors. bar. Forty flavors. Yes, about 40, 40 different martini flavors. We also do sangria flights, margarita flights. Um, we. We do a lot of different drink specials as well, but so yes, we have a lot. And the to service offer. is impeccable. I can say that. Yes, so I believe it. Yes. Sixty Man Mar Road. Don't forget us. Yeah, Sixty Man Mar Road in Plainville, Mass. Plainville, Mass. Yes. yes. So you really you can get um, Massachusetts people. It's not too far for Rhode Islanders. No, not at all. Yeah. Pretty local for anybody. It's yeah. a great restaurant. Right, right, right down the road from Plainville Casino. If anybody feels like going there. We're right down the street. Yeah, that's a good landmark, so people kind of yeah. know yeah. where it is. Yeah, exactly. So what would you say, you're one of the chefs, Aloy, there? Yes, I am. Yeah, what would you say are kind of some of the the best items, your best-selling or favorites? One of our best items is the country fried chicken, Ooh. definitely. Our chicken parm has a nice ricotta, so we put ricotta, sauce, it's, it's, it's different. Definitely. It's definitely different. It's one of our staples. We sell a lot, but our hand-carved steaks are to die for, cooked yeah. perfectly. Every time. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. And it's uh, how big is your, your facility? Like how many people can you? Uh, we generally can see uh, between 80 and 100 people. Uh, so rest uh, weekends are super busy. Mm-hmm. And we've got tables turning and chaos going on, but it's all a lot of fun. Our guests love it. We love it. We love going into work every day. Yeah. So it's a good time. Yeah. Good for families. Good for families. Absolutely. We've got... Um, Kids come in all the time with their families. We do uh, kids menu as well. It's not all adult food, uh, and honestly, uh, kids love our clam chowder. Mm. <laughs> like, yeah. They sure do. Yeah, and we, we do have events. I mean, if you want to book something with, we're starting up a catering. I'm working on that next. So, please call us if you have any info. I mean, anything I'm willing to do. Yeah, I was going to say, do you actually, can you hold like private events or parties? Can people book stuff for stuff we, like that? We have, we have done a couple of private events and parties. I mm-hmm. mean, yeah. yes, we could do anything like that. Yeah. Nice. You just have to call ahead and yeah. talk to the owner. We make an advancement, set a menu, stuff like that. Nice, yeah, yeah. So you have a, how, how vast is your menu? Is it pretty big and varied? Yeah, no, it, it definitely varies for, we have anywhere from lobsters to chicken sliders to burger sliders. Our appetizers are really great. Our um, pizza's phenomenal. We, ooh. We have weekly egg rolls that we change flavors from here to there. So we do, and it's all scratch made. This is not bought. We make all everything that's hand carved. Everything's hands on over there. So Handmade, yeah. Everything. Everything from scratch. Everything from yes. scratch. That's awesome, yeah. Yep. All right, so you brought in some uh, delicious looking stuff for me to try here. So let's go through some of these one by one. And let's start with this. This looks really amazing. What is this? That's our bourbon marinated steak tips. Mm-hmm. Um, comes in eight ounces. You can do a pound. You can do 20 ounces. So it all depends how hungry you really are. The shareable, you can share it with somebody if that's what you feel like. Definitely comes yeah. ready to go. Ready, yeah. And whatever 
whatever temperature you would like. Yeah, I'm not big on sharing with my food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not many people are. Once, they, once they take the first bite, it's usually like that. You, you let us know. Yeah, this looks good. And this is cooked how? Right that now? is cooked medium, medium rare. rare. Yeah. Mmm. That flavor is so good. What did you say? Like a bourbon? Bourbon marinated steak tips. Mmm. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm going to be healthy and have some asparagus too. There you go. Those are also grilled. Mmm. Oh my gosh. And then I see my favorite ingredient, bacon. <laughs> Tell us what these are. Those are bacon wrapped scallops and shrimp. Ooh. I always, you always see people have bacon wrapped scallops, but I never see a lot of bacon wrapped shrimp, so I like that. Do you serve it's them? A, it's one of our appetizers. We yeah. serve them together. So together. you get a little bit of each. I love that. Let me try that. Mmm. So good. Nice, sweet. Yeah, it's like that. And they're not base scallops, they are sea scallops. Mmm. Oh my they're, God. They're one of the biggest ones you will see. Yeah, mm -hmm. those That's are so sure. good. Now, this is, this looks amazing. What is this um, pasta dish here? That would be our lobster scampi. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm used to having shrimp scampi. I don't think I've ever had lobster scampi. Oh, How do you make mix this? It up a little yeah, bit. is it the same kind of recipe? But you it is the same kind of recipe. Oh. We just use fresh lobster mm -hmm. um, instead of the shrimp. We can also do chicken. Oh, I mean, okay. If, if, if you know any substitutions, any allergies, we have gluten-free pasta if that's what you need. Mm -hmm. um, we accommodate pretty much anything. Mm. Please just ask. Ask your server, and we will try our best to accommodate you. Mm. How is that? Mm. Good, huh? It's so good. Isn't it? What is it, like a wine? It's a white wine. It's a garlic wine butter sauce mm. with our fresh herbs, a yeah. little, little bit of a cherry tomatoes, and uh, shallots. Mm. Mm, the tomatoes are good, too. This burger looks amazing. Tell me what this is. That is the Smokehouse Stacker. That is actually one of the items we offer on our food truck. <coughs> it is a burger that is layered with coleslaw, Pulled pork mac and cheese, um, onion strings, and just a drizzle of barbecue sauce to top it off. Oh my God. This thing is huge. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's called a stacker. Yeah. <laughs> you get it's a two hander. <laughs> it definitely is. Definitely People, how do you eat these things? Just, just very carefully. Compress it, <laughs> compress it bite. <laughs> you unhinge your jaw a little bit. There you go. Mmm. <laughs> it's so good. The combination of everything is just like. Oh, that's what we were going for. We wanted something different. Mm. Sweet, a little sweet, little tangy. You get the beefiness from the burger. Yeah. The sweetness of the coleslaw, the crispiness of the onion strings. Mm. And don't forget, it's on that buttered brioche bun. That that really that really tops it yeah, off. Yeah, that, that brioche that bun. That buttered brioche, brioche bun is what makes so it a sandwich. Good. And this, I saved this for last because I know I'm going to love this. Tell me what this is. That is the bacon mac and cheese. Mm. We do our mac and cheese. You can do standard mac and cheese. We can add bacon, uh, pulled pork, buffalo chicken, lobster. We can do our mac and cheese any type of way. That's what you desire. Yeah. <laughs> if the ingredients are in-house, we will make it. Mm. Oh, my gosh. This is so good. Mm. Do you have this on your food truck too? Yes, we do. Yeah, so tell us about the food truck aspect of it. The food truck, um, it's a mac and cheese please mobile. We do a lot of the food trucks through P food truck events through PVD. So we'll probably be at the first food truck event Friday, April 19th at the... Roger Williams Roger, Park. Yes. Yeah, Roger Williams Park right by the carousel. Mm -hmm. um, we do mac and cheese. We do that smokehouse stacker. We have a mac melt, which is really good. It's a grilled cheese with mac and cheese, bacon, and a tangy maple mayo. Mm -hmm. um, wow. We do loaded fries, all sorts of stuff like that. It's really good stuff. Yeah. So with some of the items that are on your food truck also in the restaurant? Yes. And it, if it's not on the menu, you could always ask for the server, and we are available to make it for you. That is awesome. Oh, my God. We will definitely be ready to make anything for anybody. Okay? Yeah. I'm uh, very excited. That's my second year in, so I'm excited to see where we can go with this. Nice. It's a great place to work for. Yeah. He's a good guy. And yeah. I see a lot of potential so in, the, in the food truck and in, in the, the restaurant, restaurant moving yeah, forward. Yeah. So the short time you've been there, you really... I've really adapted to the people. We're really great. 
working together. I can tell it's you really time. enjoy it. You I really do. Time. No, I really do. I love I love what I do. And Peter and, and all the staff that makes it really fun for me to be there. That's and I awesome. appreciate them all. Yeah. Yeah, it's I mean, every step we take it we just improve more and we keep getting more business and really just moving full steam ahead. That's awesome. This is so good. So definitely people you guys have to check out. Uh, Mac and Cheese Please is the name of the food truck. Stone Ridge Grill and Bar in Plainville. So tell me again your hours, your address, your phone number. How can people find you? We're at 60 Man My Road. Open 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. throughout the week. There's Sunday through Thursday. Mm -hmm. And then on the weekends, we're open from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. Nice. And you have a website or anything that... Yeah, we have a website. Check us out on Facebook, mm -hmm. Twitter. Twitter, yep. yep. You're on all of it. We're on all of it. Mm -hmm. on all the social media both the mac and cheese police mobile and stonehurst grill and bar so you can look that all up you can look it all up at the same mm -hmm. same thing that's awesome um any phone number you want to give out i don't know our phone number okay. <laughs> all right definitely check them out mac and cheese please stone ridge grill and bar in plainville it will definitely make you go 